If you're a real estate agent in 2023, not using AI to automate your real estate business, then you're gonna get left behind. But don't worry, because I, Tommy Mutchler, am gonna be showing you how to use ChatGPT and other AI softwares to automate your real estate business. And today I have an in-depth tutorial on how to automatically take notes for your buyer and seller consultations, automatically summarize them, turn them into action steps, and automatically upload them into your favorite CRM. Now, if this sounds way over your head, don't worry about it. I have a really basic, simple, easy to follow way that I'm gonna show you first. And then of course, I'm gonna show you a more advanced automatic way of taking these notes and automatically uploading them into your CRM. Now, the first step to this process is you need to automatically record and transcribe your consultations. Now, I personally do all my consultations over Google Meets. However, you can definitely use Zoom to do this entire process. And if you work in person and only do consultations in person, my first question is why? And second of all, don't worry, you can still do this, but you will need to use a second piece of software to achieve this. But to keep things simple, we're gonna use Google Meets for this tutorial. Now, when I do a bar consultation. And again, this whole process works for seller consultations, but for this video, we're going to do a buyer consultation. I always have my prospects or my clients register a consultation on my Calendly link where they can go click on buy a home with Tommy, pick a time and fill out all their information. And the reason being, I want people to book appointments automatically. I don't want to have to waste my time booking appointments. I just send them a link. I just let them book themselves and it's great. It works perfectly. And another important reason I want them to use this Calendly link is because when they book an appointment, they automatically get added to my calendar, which is going to be really important for some automation later down the road. Plus, it just makes your life so much simpler, so much easier if they just book your consultation on Calendly. And if they don't, you can, of course, just fill out all the information for them on their behalf. Say you get them on the phone and you just want to fill it out real quick for them. Either way, use Calendly. It's awesome. And it's free. Next up is we use Google Meets to host our buyer consultations. I do all my buyer consultations over Meet. I do not do any buyer consultations in person. It's a big waste of time. I sell real estate two million dollar two million dollar three million five million dollar plus clients trust me google meets works just fine i use it all day long and best of all it's also free so for the sake of this video let's pretend we have a new meeting we'll go ahead and just create a instant meeting for now obviously you'd schedule it out automatically if you use the calendly link it's uh really awesome my computer might get a little glitchy because i'm recording a video and i have a google meets going regardless we're not going to invite anyone to this call but we're going to go ahead and just show you real quick we need to transcribe and record record our Google Meets. And this is gonna be really important for summarizing our meeting notes. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna click on these three dots and we're gonna click manage recordings and we're gonna click also transcribe our recording and we're gonna go hit record. It's gonna give you a little warning and it's gonna start recording everything. So now that you're recording the entire transcription on Google Meets, we're gonna go ahead and pretend we do our consultation and I'm gonna show you where you can find that transcription. So then you can upload it into ChatGBT and get your meeting notes. All right, so now we're gonna go to Google Drive, just type in Google Drive, pull it up. We're going to go to our drive and select meet recording. So when you record a meeting inside of Google, it's going to get saved here. Now it's going to be a little bit different on Zoom. Zoom has their own location where you can find this. But again, we're using Google Meets for this example. Although if you can figure out how to do this on Google Meets, you can figure out how to do it on Zoom. It's not that hard. But we're going to go ahead and click on our meeting recordings. And as you can see here, it uploaded a transcription of our meeting. Now this is going to be a test transcription for example's sake. This was the other day. I did make this. This is a real transcription that I had with a client, Chris Clay. Basically, you can just see what we said verbatim. It's kind of confusing. Chris is talking about how he has four kids. I mean, ideally, it'd be fun to have five bedrooms, five bedrooms with additional space or two offices. Obviously, the way we talk does not quite equate to text. So when we speak, it always seems to get transcribed kind of funny, but that's okay because we have this entire transcription right here. And I'm just going to go ahead and copy and paste this entire thing. So I'm going to do command A and then copy. And now we're going to go to ChatGPT to upload this into the software to summarize our entire notes for our consultation. So again, if you're not familiar with ChatGPT and you've never heard of it, I do have a really awesome video right here that you should watch. You probably want to go watch that and then come back to here. It might help you out a little bit. But if you are a little bit familiar with ChatGPT, it's obviously this really awesome software that you can just tell to do basically anything you want and it will just do it as long as it's in text or image form. Now, ChatGPT is 100% free. However, I do 
have the paid version, so don't need to worry about this, but I'm gonna use the default version, which is the version you guys would have access to. And of course, when we go to automate it, this is the version I currently have to use. So don't worry about these different options. You should just have the default option by default. So basically we're gonna tell it that this is a transcription of a buyer consultation that I have with another client. And then I'm gonna tell ChatGPT that I want it to organize my notes into three separate categories. First up, we're gonna summarize who they are, what their names are, what their hobbies, what their interests are, their lifestyle, basically who they are as people. Second thing I want them to summarize is what they are looking for in a house, including all the features and all the must haves that they need to have, including price points and things like that. The third thing I want ChatGPT to do is I'm going to tell it to give me a list of action items for all participants in the conversation. And again, ChatGPT is really, really smart. You can basically have a conversation with it. So as you can see, my prompt for it is actually kind of rough. Like you don't think you have to put this in verbatim. You can kind of customize this however you want. You can be really loose with it and understands grammar errors and understands spelling errors. So just tell it what you want it to do and it's gonna figure out the rest. Now I'm gonna go ahead and copy and paste that transcription into here. Obviously we have this entire transcription. And so now we'll just go ahead and click enter and ChatGPT is going to summarize our conversation. As you can see, he said buyer summary. Chris Clay and his wife Amber have four children and work from home. They need a bigger house. And it gives the reason why they need a bigger house. It gives us their preferences and needs. Chris and Amber need a bigger house that can accommodate their family and work. They need additional office space, multiple levels. They're looking for the Liberty Lake area. It even gave their price point and how many homes they need. And then of course it even gave action steps saying that Tommy Mutchler needs to help Chris and Amber get pre-approved and Chris and Amber need to sell their house. So again, maybe we need some fine tuning right there with the AI, but for our first run right here, that's pretty good. And of course we can just change this prompt that we have right here. The below text is a transcript from a buyer consultation. So again, we can kind of change this, modify this, whatever we need to do, and it can uh, fine tune these answers. But they start, these are some really good meeting notes that we have here. Obviously the next step then is just to take and copy these notes and then copy and paste them into your favorite CRM. Now that's pretty cool. However, I want to show you how to automate this entire process with Zapier so you don't have to wait for your meeting notes to be generated, copy and paste them in the chat GPT, type up this whole prompt. Now I'm gonna show you how to automate this entire system and then automatically feed it into your favorite CRM. Now, the way we're gonna automate this is with Zapier. If you don't know what Zapier is, uh, it's this really awesome software that basically automates anything you like. So it ties other pieces of software together and you can make it as simple or as complicated as you want. There's a lot of really great tutorials on YouTube. Definitely check it out. But basically the way it works is it works off a trigger then followed by an action system. So you have something called triggers. So in the case of our meeting notes, we already made a new Zap. We're gonna call it meeting notes for the sake of this video. And our trigger is gonna be when a new document is found in Google Docs. Now the reason we do this and the reason we do a Google Docs document or is created is because inside of our meeting notes, inside of our Google Drive, we want it to trigger when a new document is created for our buyer consultations, okay? So it's gonna trigger when these transcripts are generated. And again, this is just gonna be for the, the meetings recording. If you're using Google Docs for other things, it's only gonna trigger for the meeting notes and I'm gonna show you how to do that. We're gonna go ahead and select our trigger for Google Docs. So when a new document in a folder, that's the key word is in a folder is created and we're gonna create a trigger and it's going to automate this whole process. So we hit continue, we're gonna connect our Google account and then our folder that we're gonna select is we're gonna select meet recordings. That's when it's gonna trigger. And if you want to run a test, you can go ahead and run a test, but I am not going to for the sake of this video. Now we're going to move on to our step two. So step two is going to be send the prompt to OpenAI, which is also known as ChatGPT. ChatGPT. I keep saying BT. I don't know why, but it's PT. And basically the software that you're going to search for is OpenAI. Those are the creators of ChatGPT. Again, all the software is free. You will have to pay for a Zapier subscription to do more steps like this. But if you don't want to do more steps, there is a free version that you can use. We're going to select open AIs and we're going to send a prompt to open AI. And there's a few different options here. So make sure you select send prompt and then we're going to hit continue and we're going to go ahead and connect our account. Again, this is a free account that you can get with chat GPT. If you already have one, you're going to have to connect it and you're going to have to go through their API settings. It's not too hard to figure out. You should be able to figure it out. And when you set up your model, you're going to have more features here than just the basic type it in and go. So I'm going to kind of show you how to fine tune it. So it works better. First off, you're going to want to select a GPT model and you're like, what the heck does that even mean? Don't even worry about it. Just select text DaVinci 
If you do not, this system will not work. So make sure you select Text DaVinci 003. So if you were to look inside of the models here, inside of Chat GBT, you're gonna see there's a lot of different options here. You don't want any of these. The only one you want is again, is gonna be Text DaVinci 003. So make sure that's the one you choose. Otherwise the system might not work unless you know what you're doing. Of course you can select a different one if you want. We're adding our prompt here. So we're telling it, hey, wait, this is a buyer consultation, a transcription. Please summarize the transcription except for Tommy Mutchler into the three topics, blah, 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 blah. Basically it's this prompt that we already had it do here in ChatGPT. We're just gonna save it inside of Zapier. So then we're gonna add our conversation here. And what you could do is when you click on this, of course you could type in whatever you want, but let's just say this wasn't here. Show all options. And you're gonna wanna add a file raw plain text content. So file raw, actually let's just type it in file raw plain text content that's going to be the entire meeting notes so again if you were to click on it it's just going to be all this inside of here that's all it's going to incorporate into our meeting notes and i'll go ahead and leave that we're going to put our max length at 100 tokens chappy gpt is limited so it, it can't do like unlimited text unless you pay for the better model then it could do like 25 28,000 words something like that i think you are limited to a few thousand we're just going to do a thousand for max you don't want a big pile of notes anyway so don't even worry about it i'm gonna leave all those other stuff the same so the temperature we're gonna leave it at point seven. stop sequence none top ph leave all this stuff here we're not going to touch it and then if you want to run a test you can test it i already tested it so i don't need to but you can hit test and it's going to spit out your summary here and then what you can do here and this is the easy way so again this is our easy automation this is the end of it i send an email to myself through zapier so zapier has this tool called email by zapier where you can send out an outbound email and I just email myself. I give it a subject line of the meeting notes and then I say meeting notes and then I include in this field here, I click send prompt to chat GPT and I select choices text summary. Basically, this is just gonna be the summary of our conversation. So basically this is the prompt that GPT is gonna be spitting out and I want to send this to me in an email. I'm not gonna click it because I already selected it right here. That's what this is. And then I'm gonna put my from name. I'm just gonna say chat GPT. You could put whatever you want and then we'll hit continue and we can retest this action if we want to. It's gonna go ahead and test it and it's going to email it to me. Now at this point, you can be done and you have your meeting notes, they're emailed to you, but I want to take it a step further and I want to show you how to automatically send these notes into your CRM. Now, I don't know if this will work with every CRM. I know it works with my CRM. I use the Chime CRM, huge fan, love Chime. If you haven't checked it out already, uh, I have a video tutorial on how to use Chime. I mean, it's awesome, absolutely love it. Best real estate CRM out there, definitely recommend it but I'm gonna show you how to automatically add these notes to your Chime CRM because we automate things here, okay? We're lazy, we don't got time to do that. Let's put those notes in automatically so we have them. So our next trigger is gonna be a Google Calendar action. Now, if you want to, you can get rid of this email. I have it just in case. I just have it as a fail safe. I just email myself the notes. Doesn't really matter. You can get rid of it if you want to, but the next action is we're going to need to find a Google Calendar event. And the reason we need to find a Google Calendar event is we need to grab the client's email so we can then pair those notes to the lead inside of our CRM and update the notes inside of the lead's profile file in our CRM. Man, that was a mouthful. So again, remember when we booked our appointment with Calendly and I told you, hey, make sure you book your appointment with Calendly. This is where we're going to collect their email. They should already be in your CRM or when they book this appointment, they'll already be inside of your CRM. Doesn't matter. We still need that email to, in order to find them. So we can add these notes to their profile. Now inside of our Zapier, we're going to go ahead and click find event. So we want to find an event and we're going to select our calendar that we're going to be using and we're going to have a search term for home buyer consultation. Now, when I create an event, I always call them home buyer consultations. Again, this happens completely automatically when I create an event with Calendly. Again, when you set up Calendly, it obviously just titles it home buyer consultations. You can change all these settings on the back end. And the reason we want to find an event is we want to find this person's email. Now you can't see this email because it's blurred out, but we're going to find it with Zapier. So again, we're going to search for events by home buyer consultation because that's where we named the event and our start title 
time is going to be today. So it's events that start today. I only do one buyer consultation a day, so you're not going to have duplicates here. If you do more than one a day, it might get confused. You may be able to fine tune some of this stuff. I don't really know. Maybe you can, maybe you can't. You might be able to say a start time two hours ago and time within the last hour if you really want to like try and play with this. But for this example, I only do one a day. So it doesn't affect me. And then I just do the start time today. I don't put an end time. It's never been an issue. And then I just click continue. And as you can see, it found our Google event, which finds their email. Now we have to do an extra step before we send everything to our CRM. And that is we have to use a tool called Formatter by Zapier. And that is because the emails are going to be, it's going to include both attendees emails. So it's going to include your email as well as the other person's email. And that is going to cause problems and not be able to upload into your CRM. And we go to our CRM step where we're going to upload the emails. It's going to include their email and then my email. You can't see this because this is all blurred out, but there's two emails here. So we need to separate those two emails first before we do anything, which is where this tool comes in. So again, we're going to go formatted by Zapier. We're going to select text as our event for our transform. We're going to select, just go ahead and type it in, split text. And then we're going to add our value, which is going to be our email. So we're going to go to find event and we're going to find our emails. So we have two emails right here and we need to split these up. It's going to be, one's going to be the attendees email and one's going to be my email or your email. Obviously we don't want to send stuff to ourselves. So we got to get rid of our email. Now the way we're going to separate these, we're going to use a comma. And that is because the way these are being separated right now is with a comma. And if it's just a space, you could do a space. You have to include these brackets. If you need to learn more about how to separate these different formats, you can right here. But I know for me, I need to do a comma because the first email is an email. Then there's a comma. Then there's the other email. So we're going to do a comma here. And then we're going to want to select all as separate fields. So go down to the bottom, all as separate fields. And then we hit fresh and hit test. And now, as you can see, it is divided up our two emails into two different line items. So we have our buyer's email and then we have our email. Now, remember whose is who ours is the email we want is going to be item one and the email we don't want is item two. So just remember that for our next step. Now we're going to go ahead and pick your favorite CRM. I use the Chime CRM, the world's best CRM. Obviously, it's amazing. So we're going to go ahead and use that and we're going to select create a new lead. Now, I know some people might think they need to update a lead. Don't select update a lead if you're using the Chime CRM. You want to do create a new lead, even if the lead already is, exists. And the reason being is when you collect create a new lead, it is going to update and give you the option to add notes. Now, if you do update lead, it won't give you the option to add notes. But when you do create lead, you do have the option to add notes. So we're going to go ahead and click that. And no, it's not going to create a duplicate lead in your Chime CRM. It's just going to update your existing one, even though it says create new. Now we're going to go ahead and skip most of these fields for the most part, because your lead should already be in your CRM at this point. But right now we're going to go ahead and add our email and we're going to go to text and formatted by Zapier. And we're going to select output one because that is the email that we want to use to find the lead inside of our CRM. And then under notes, we're going to want to include the chat GBT output. So the summary of our client notes right here. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to our prompt and you're going to go down to choices text, which should be our output for all of our notes. And it will then add it to your CRM. We'll then of course go down to continue. We'll test it out. Bada boom, bada bing, we have a success. Let's go ahead and check out Chime to see if it worked. And then as you can see inside of our CRM, we have our notes that have automatically been imported by Zapier. We have basically our entire conversation summarized. We have all of our meeting notes here ready to go. And I'm gonna go ahead and just pin that to the top. So I have those notes always and forever. And that my friends is how you automatically take buyer and seller consultation notes and add them to your CRM. Now here's the deal. If you want to learn how to do even more things with ChatGPT, then you're really going to want to check out this video right here. Or if you want to learn how to automate your entire follow-up process with our follow-up campaigns, we got a ton of follow-up campaigns that you can totally take for free. You just got to click the link below and you get access to them. With that said, my name is Tommy Mutchler, your lazy agent, and I will see you in the next one.